Make sure you block your number. Obviously. Who are you calling anyway? Mail escort off Craigslist. Hi there. Just a second. Are we interested in the April drool special? What? No. Save it for digestion, Papa. Maybe next time. Um, do you have any sons by any chance? Perfect. And do you know what two minus two is? You got it. And that's also how many sons you have left because your son was in a major car accident. Hello? Sir? Are you kidding me? That is not an April Fool's prank. It's not my fault. He hung up before I could say April Fool's. Okay, here's a rule about April Fool's. If the person isn't laughing, it's not an April Fool's joke. You know what Gandhi had to say about rules, right? What did Gandhi say? Rules are like children. If you break one and nobody knows, nobody knows. Gandhi said that. That's just what I heard. April Fool's pranks are supposed to be innocent. I tried innocent. I put googly eyes on everyone's photo at work today. There we go. See, now that's a good April Fool's prank. Tell that to my boss. I got written up. What? Why? Apparently, even though Ken's eyes are naturally googly, excluding him from the prank was in poor taste. Yeah, I agree. Should I be expecting a prank today? Is the sky blue? Is Bill Cosby playing the skin flute in his prison band? Come on, man, it's April Fool's. I'll take that as a yes. You should be pulling pranks too. Check out prankhub.net. There's tons of good ideas there. Oh yeah, like what? The four-way go? What's that? Visit your nearest four-way stop. Remove the stop signs. Four-way go. How about something less morbid? There's the adoption prank. How's that one go? Walk into an adoption agency and ask what the return policy is on accidental damage. That's not a prank. Okay, how about the rubbing moisturizer on kids with eczema at the park prank? Okay, if it's not reversible by the end of the day, it's not a prank, man. Neutrogena has a four hour hydro boost. These kids will be crispy again by dinner. I really hope you didn't use this site for your pranks today. Give me some credit. I think of my own pranks. Somehow I'm still nervous. What other pranks did you pull today? I rented a white van and wrote free candy along the sides in Comic Sans font and pulled up to Catholic schools during second recess. How is that a prank? Free candy just meant free the candy from my van. It's trapped. I actually charged him five bucks a pop. Did you get in trouble? Not at all. In fact, I would have done this sooner if I knew there was a reward. Reward. What reward? I don't have to go within 50 feet of a school ever again. And I got a free membership to a private club called the Ludax Society. I hope you know that's a lifetime membership. Anything else? I ran around a local bowling alley and every time someone launched a ball, I'd yell, strike, 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 strike. Okay, a little distracting, but you're just cheering people on. Yeah, but somehow I got kicked out for impersonating a union worker. Okay, so I think you have the wrong idea about today. Those are not pranks. You're telling me that picking up other people's kids from daycare and yelling racial slurs in public are not pranks? Yes, that's exactly what I'm telling you. Even if I say April Fools, doesn't change a thing. What's your idea of a prank then? I don't know, something like hiding all your roommate's socks. Okay, let's keep your foot fetish out of this. Never mind. Oh, voicemail from my dad. He prank calls me every year. Hey son, you okay? Someone called daddy's business line saying you were in a major car accident. Call me back, okay? Ha ha, very funny. You got me. April Fools. I have no idea what you're talking about. You and my dad were in on it, right? Escort. That was your prank? No, my prank was just switching your coffee to decaf. I have no idea what that's about. Dad, can I take over your business when I grow up? Son, it's gonna be a little weird if you take my clients, all right? 